Hello and welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. Today we're going to talk about Docker nested inside of LexD. Many people use a Docker host that is a virtual machine and that Docker host contains all of the Docker containers used for various applications. We have learned on this channel that LexD is far leaner and more efficient than a virtual machine. LexD containers start up much faster and they use fewer resources. Often, an application that uses Docker has multiple Docker containers. Nesting multiple Docker containers for support of a single application inside of a LexD container can improve ease of management and keep all Docker resources or all application resources in a single Docker instance inside of the container for that application. I like container nesting because it helps keep track of all the Docker containers supporting a single application. Nesting Docker containers inside LexD has been known to create OCI runtime create failed errors on the LexD container. These errors may flag an unknown permission problem or they may point to an error accessing a C group. These errors are related to permission problems with Docker containers accessing slash sys and slash proc folders inside a LexD container. These errors may be overcome by creating the LexD container with the flag security.nesting equals true on the LexC command line when creating the container. So how should a LexD container supporting nesting be created? Make the LexD a privileged container. We've talked about that in previous videos. Set the nesting option to true. And the command would look something like this. Lexc launch Ubuntu version 20.04. I'm calling my container nested, but you'll call your container whatever the name of your application is. Profile default. And then I say security.privileged equals true. Security.nesting is true. And then I have a memory limit on this container of 4 gigs and a CPU allowance of 30%. And then I set the container to automatically start every time Docker is started. So here we are at the command prompt and I'm going to SSH into my Bitwarden container and my Bitwarden container has quite a few Docker instances or quite a few Docker containers on it. If I do a Docker PS you can see here that I have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Now usually they're pretty good, applications are pretty good about naming the container something appropriate like Bitwarden-Nginx. All these containers here are named with a prefix of Bitwarden to let you know they're part of Bitwarden. But it seems that better application isolation could be achieved by doing what I'm doing here, which is having a LexD instance with Docker nested inside of it, running all the containers required for the Bitwarden application. And many other applications are like this. I do have a Docker host, and on that Docker host, I tend to run applications that only require a single container. But for the applications that require multiple containers, I prefer to nest them inside of a LexD instance for better management. So in summary, it is possible and sometimes desirable to nest Docker containers inside of a LexD container. Container nesting allows more effective isolation of Docker containers that support a single application. Sometimes container nesting can generate an OCI runtime failure with a permission denied error on nested Docker containers. 
This can be overcome with the security.nesting equals true switch when creating or modifying the container. Anyway, thanks for visiting today and please subscribe and like to the channel and we'll see you next time.